Next, we will cover the Access tab. Access sessions are a remote connection to an unattended machine. The connection is established through an installed agent or client. The agent is generated from an installer that is built directly from your own ConnectWise control instance and is unique to your instance. Any machines with the agent installed will only be accessible via your ConnectWise control instance. Once built, a single installer can be deployed on an unlimited number of machines. To build an installer, we will click on this blue button here. You can specify the machine name or use its default machine name. You can set its organization ahead of time if you want it to pre-organize. And then we want to select the type of machine we're going to be installing it on, whether that's via Windows EXE, MSI, Mac, or Linux. At that point, you're going to want to either send that as a link to someone via email. You can copy the link and send it elsewhere, or you can download it directly for mass deployment or dispatch. Once installed, the machines will appear on the list in the center here. If a machine is illuminated green on the right-hand side, it means that it is on, has internet connection, and is ready to connect. If it is grayed out, it is not capable of connection. If you see green lit on the left-hand side, it means that a technician is already connected to that machine. Next, I'm going to be covering some of the connections uh, and functionality that you can do outside of connecting to a machine. You can right-click on a machine and wake it if you have wake on LAN enabled. You can send that user a message. You can run a command or tool from here, including scripts. You can add a note to the machine, or you can do things like get host pass or send files. Getting a host pass allows you to send out a remote connection for a third-party vendor. Say you don't want to give that person full connection to your instance, but you want to allow them a small restricted amount of time to connect to a machine to assist you. You can do that through here and dispatch the link to that person from here, and even set the lifetime of the event. File transfer is also great from here. You can click on Send Files, drag and drop or browse for the file that you are wanting to transfer, and then select a location to silently transfer that file to that other machine. This is a great way of not interrupting the user's experience and getting the files onto the machine. To connect to a machine, it's as easy as highlighting over that machine and double-clicking on it. 